All right, everybody, welcome back to another haul video. So today, I have a couple of different things. I have an Amazon package in front of me, and then I have a couple of things that I got from Indigo, which are not in a bag or anything, so I'm just going to pull them out <laughs> later once I've gotten through this package. So, let's get into this thing. It's been a while since I've done this kind of video, but here we are. All right, and it's open, and it's thumping. Maybe. There we go. Okay. We got the Dr. Wu's Lab Baby Dinosaurs Breakout. So I have this set already, but I wanted another one because I need more baby dinos for my dino theme park. And I just decided to get this. It wasn't on sale or anything, which kind of sucks, but it was back in stock, which is kind of a miracle because these things are always out, like everywhere, which kind of sucks. Now on to the rest of this haul. I'm going to set that aside over there. I got a set that I've been kind of wanting for a while, and I was going to get it during the summer, but I just didn't. And you guys are probably like, what the heck, why did you get this set? But it's this one right here, the diving yacht. I just really like the boat. It looks really cool. And I also need that, um, oh god, what is that called? A swordfish <laughs> as well, because I need that for my dino park as well. And it's just an overall kind of cool little set. And so I decided to get that. And then... Before I got that, I got a whole bunch of these right here. I got Series 21 minifigures. I think I got like uh, six or seven of these things. I don't know, but I'm going to go through, going to open them for you guys. I'm going to see which ones I got. All right, since I felt these and I basically already know which ones these are, I'm not going to bother feeling these. I'm just going to open these all and show you guys which ones I got. Um, this one I don't remember. I Obviously, I don't remember the order of what all these are, but I do, I should know exactly what each one of these are. And yeah, oh my god, this is great. So we got the Violin Boy, who is an awesome figure. If you guys don't know, uh, I am very much into music. I am a composer and I write, well, technically classical music, I guess. And so seeing the violin piece in Lego is really, really cool. Yeah, here's the violin piece. This looks really cool. We never had this before in Lego, so when I saw this figure, I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. I need to get 16 of this guy for a full violin section. <laughs> That's probably not going to happen, but that would be amazing if I got 16 of this. Um, is this going to clip into this guy's hand? Oh my god, it's really difficult to do that. What the heck? There we go. Okay, I'm just really bad. Um, this is not <laughs> the way a violin is angled. Wait, yeah, it is. Hang on. Um, no, it's not. It's like this because you have the thing resting on your kind of shoulder right there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, his torso is kind of bland and, uh, yeah. And then he has this really nice, like kind of expression where he's like, you know, really into the music or whatever, which is kind of funny. This angry expression is kind of funny. It's like he made a mistake or something. I don't know. It's just a funny <laughs> expression. This one is much better. I like this a lot. <laughs> it's a very happy musical expression. Um, let's see, is this gonna... Yeah, there we go. So it would be kind of like this. Yeah, that looks really cool. This is an awesome figure to have, and I'm really happy that they decided to make a violin piece. Maybe they'll make more instrument pieces in the future, uh, like a French horn. That would be amazing. Please, Lego. That would be so awesome. Now, on to the next figure. So, I'm just gonna open this up. Don't know who this is. And, aha, okay. It's another violin boy. <laughs> so, as I kind of joked, I want to get 16 of this figure, but just having a second one is great. So, uh, I'm just going to move him to the side. And let's just uh, notice something here for a second. Uh, I don't know how or why, but the um, the violin, well... I was gonna say it's the uh, the bow, but it's not actually the bow. The uh, the wand piece is not attached to its little thing, which doesn't make any sense. I don't know why it's like that. And I felt that when I was feeling this, and I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. But yeah, so it was just actually separate, which is odd, and it should have been like that. But anyways, on to the next figure. Let's see what this is. Aha. Okay. So this is probably my favorite figure from this CMF series is the Centaur Red. She is so cool. Uh, I was so happy when they made the Centaur piece and the Centaur figure for Harry Potter. 
because centaurs are just really cool. And uh, I've always wanted to make a Narnia mock. I'm just going to put that out there right now. Um, that's why I want to get a bunch of this figure. She looks so cool. Look at the arm printing here. It looks really good. The torso is cool as well. And then we have this kind of happy expression. Does she have another face? Yeah, she does. Kind of a, uh, sort of still happy. So that's kind of cool. Then we got the bow. Because for whatever reason, centaurs are always archers. I don't know why that's a, whoa, why that's a thing in mythology, but it is. <laughs> um, there we go. And we got a hair piece. And she has an apple. Um, I guess because horses like apples, <laughs> which is kind of dumb, but oh well. But yeah, um, this is such a cool figure. And um, I'm really, really happy to have this. This is really cool. Does she have a, yeah, she has a plate. Okay, for some reason I didn't think she had a base plate. I guess she just sits on it like that. So that's cool. Now on to the next figure. All right. Aha, okay. So I don't know what this figure is called, but basically it's like a diver. Oh, this is attached to that. Is that supposed to? No, it's not. That was just kind of a fluke. That's interesting. Um, basically this is like a, a paddle border, I think is what it's called. Um, I've actually done this in real life where you stand on, on one of these things and then you paddle yourself around. Uh, the main reason I got this was for the dolphin, which is really, really cool to have. Uh, this is also for the dino theme park. So that's cool. So this is the actual figure. Uh, I figured I'd show off this torso, which is actually really cool. It reminds me of uh, Paradisa from way back in the day. So that's actually really cool. And then of course we put the life jacket on. Uh, she, she has two sides to her face, I think. So we have that expression, and then we have one without the glasses. And then we put the awesome hair hat combo on with the ponytail. Like that looks really good. That's, that's a really cool piece. And then of course we put her on her board with the little paddle. Um, I think it would be like this. Yeah, that's kind of how it would be. And then the dolphin, which is really cool. Now on to the second last figure. Open this up. Aha, that's what I thought. Okay, so this is the singer minifigure. I don't exactly know what her real name is, but I think she's basically just like a, a singer. And I'm going to have to <laughs> pause and uh, kind of put this figure together because it's a little bit more complicated than the other ones. Okay, so this is what she's looking like. This figure is awesome. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, we have the mic stand over here, which she can sing into and this face print is amazing yeah look at the makeup on this face print oh my god and the fact that she's singing too it looks so good the headdress is amazing um this is the back of the figure the back of the torso this is her other face print which again has all that makeup on it which looks so cool and then the uh dual molded legs which look really cool and they're all glittery and stuff like, this is just a really cool figure i really like this a lot uh, this is her little, like, cape thing that she has on, which is cool. And the headdress, I was actually thinking of using this in Dino Theme Park as well, for, like, a bit of coral, because it just looks really, really cool. Um, but the figure itself is surprisingly really, really cool. So, now on to the last minifigure here. I'm pretty sure I know what this is, but I may have felt it wrong, and I might be bamboozled here, but I don't think so. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. We got another centaurette, which is awesome. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to put all these figures together and line them up and just kind of show off everything that we've gotten. All right, so here's everything I got. Um, this is kind of a cool haul. So it's kind of diverse, but it's mostly aimed towards the Dino theme park, which is cool. We've got our minifigures here, which all look really, really cool. I love the centaurettes. I realized that the quiver is not supposed to be on the back of them. It's supposed to be on the horse, but it kind of works. The hair kind of fits, which is interesting. And then the singer, <laughs> which may actually be my favorite figure from this, just because it's so cool, but I don't know. The violin guy and the centaur red are also up there in my top three. So anyways, that's the whole video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.